Well, what is the relative to the angle? What is how you can be a on the pronoun? Okay. So IAC is actually an initiative from government of India. Okay. Central government planned this one before two years and uh, uh, 2018 onwards. Okay. So the motive motivation is like uh, our economy is some 3.1 trillion economy. Okay. So uh, uh, so within 2025 we have reached uh, some 5 trillion economy. Okay. So, uh, how to reach that? So, government uh, uh, appointed uh, so many committees and uh, some uh, ASAT uh, and uh, some separate cell they started. This is called uh, Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell. They discussed on this and uh, they conducted a lot of survey, finally finalized with uh, something called a division in every higher education institution which can support, which can foster this uh, uh, work innovation activity in the campus. Okay. So uh, this is uh, uh, the starting point in 2018 and every year uh, that uh, one year program actually arranging and uh, this is divided into four quarters and first quarter, uh, this is the last quarter of the previous year. It starts from uh, July to this August. Last year July to this August and the next month onwards uh, it will be a new quarter of uh, maybe IAC 5. Okay. So, what is the first quarter they are expecting is something like ideation. Ideation means uh, everyone has some idea, but it should be converted into some business idea. Right. So, this is uh, that's all to have a, make awareness of this one. Uh, so, because when you start with the next month, then if you have, uh, we are connecting a lot of programs, you can attend all these programs, and within one year time, what is we are expecting in the final quarter, you will be very much uh, uh, connected with the startup with the factory. Right. So, first phase you will get a lot of awareness classes and uh, some kind of exhibition, some kind of uh, what uh, we have, uh, some demo is there, uh, such kind of things. And uh, actually you should understand this is uh, actually from the government side, there is a pol policy shift. So, you know something about the new educational policy, right? So, something like uh, some kind of hackathons they are there. So, many, many kind of events, Smart, international hackathons are there, Smart India hackathon is there. So, along with IAC activities coming. So, IAC is actually making awareness about the innovation and we are actually, day and night now, nowadays we are working for this IAC activity and uh, which is actually divided into four parts. Okay. Uh, one is called IAC driven activity which is actually uh, from the government said they will uh, list some, uh, some uh, classes <coughs> that we should attend. And another one is called MIC driven that will be in a short span of time they will uh, announce. Such uh, some expert talk will be there, some leadership talk is there, like that. And uh, the third thing about uh, uh, our celebration, some particular days like uh, Science Day and uh, this uh, Technology Day, that kind of day we will celebrate in this institute. We will uh, invite the nearby institute people and uh, we will conduct some programs here. Okay, last time we conducted some exhibition for students. So this kind of uh, events are going on and the fourth one is some self driven activity which is actually uh, the exposed will be our institute people, our faculty. Okay. So this is the way we are conducting for four quarters. This is what uh, IAC is doing. IAC is through this event, uh, through these programs, uh, we are actually we can divide four quarters as like awareness, ideation, then uh, entrepreneurship and startup. This is what we are planning. Okay. So when you are reaching near to this entrepreneurship and the startup stage, so you want funding as such, so called some kind of amount is required to make some uh, something, some product. So this part will be taken care through different schemes, not only as uh, like students uh, directly. We conducted last time, last 31st was the date for the innovation project. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we had innovation project and uh, uh, some uh, this kind of hackathons are there. And uh, today uh, some good news here, one batch of our institute uh, is uh, selected for uh, smart India hackathon. Okay. So such kind of some activities there. So if you have some idea, maybe have some smart India hackathon, they will give you a list of ideas. From that you have to implement something. But even your VTEC project, you can convert it into a innovative product. But what, what you want? Actually the motivation. Okay. So you have to, uh, uh, once you are getting some results in your data project, you will stop that. As Sir told, actually earlier it was REC, now NIT, right? When this switch happened, actually there is, I, I, uh, we can say industrial revolution 3, right? 
now it is four. So here many different other things are components are adding to our system. That is actually related to innovation and the entrepreneurship. So basically this when we are making more start starter, it is going to be big to the country. So this is a small group we are giving awareness, we are telling you just to spread this news to your friends and other people in the class. So many people, many students, last day I spoke in the class and uh, two students uh, told me to be a member in this IAC. So what we are facing now, that specific, uh, frankly speaking, we are facing one issue, that is the, uh, the number of participation in this events. So you see here, we got more than 30, 40 people, only 20 plus is there, right? 20, 25 people. Are. So what I'm saying is that uh, even last event we uh, we got a registration of 60 plus. Finally, it is popular. Okay. So we want more participation in these things. Then only it will improve. So this awareness they will get. Now we can reach to everyone, each individual, right? So while your discussion, you keep in mind that it is not related to the other project. It is related to some information. Okay. So thank you all for coming here and uh, thank you. None of the company uh, become successful company. Maybe taking a lot of efforts and travel through uh, success, failure, success, failure, many, many things, stage they cross, finally they become a successful company. I really surprised to meet uh, uh, a company uh, where I attended a presentation in Kolkata. So there are four set of students completed a final in project. And that project was only the ideal. See, one of the project men, uh, he studied that, uh, he read newspaper that uh, three, uh, three people died when they cleaned uh, some submersible uh, uh, sewage pipe. Mm -hmm. That was uh, he studied, read the newspaper. They were in final year uh, from a nearby college in uh, Malapuram district. They were like mechanical engineers. Some of them from IT mechanical, computer science line. So they formed a group uh, when they were in final year. They want to invent a machine which can clean the submersible uh, sewage water pipe system. <coughs> that time they should not succeed. Idea level, some uh, robot structure they made, somehow they uh, completed the project. Then after that, more than seven years they never departed. They never seek a new job. This seven, as a pointed out by Sriram, they themselves started, I think they started uh, under a particular TBA, I forget which TBA they started. They faced a lot of hurdle. They finally came out with a robot. Now, more than 17 states, their robots are employed uh, to clean this underground uh, seabed system. Two aspects he projected. One is, Efficient than human. Suppose if they use a human resource in a day at the rate of four person pipe in a in a manhole, uh, they can clean hardly ten manholes. But this machine more efficient and more faster than human. Second one I really like very much. Second point what he promoted, what he projected. He never employed educated people to handle this robot. Then. The sewage people who are working on, they will lose a job. Here, he identified the sewage people who is technically caliber. So, common man is more caliber than an engineer degree holder. I think you all agree with me, right? He identified such a technical skilled person who is there in that uh, uh, <coughs> sewage cleaning team. He trained this fellow. Say, robot means what here? Some arm will be there and some uh, joystick will be there. Finished. Some buttons will be there. With a proper training, he trained uh, this uh, uh, type of workers. Then after that, he lifted the social status. You get my point? That was the final contribution, what he made as the outcome of his startup. That was highly appreciated by uh, the team. Not only that, I think they won many prizes from even President of India. Clear? So they invented a, uh, uh, see, a simple startup started like a beta project. But today, 
one machine costs around 40 lakh rupees. That's what I understood. It's a very fine machine. I have seen many of his videos and he shown some of the demonstration there during the part of presentation in Kolkata. So like that, if you really want to start a company, this is the right place. Clear? Many examples, he is here, Ben says here, and he know many successful stories, I think, from your seniors, yes. right? Say, uh, what we are ultimately contributing to society is a very good question. Clear? And similarly, I met one more guy who completed the PhD from MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, then he came back to Bangalore. He started a kind of biotechnology company, biotechnology. He invented a machine which can diagnose a particular disease uh, with minimum blood samples. You get me point. Suppose if we, some person would like to undergo a medical uh, diagnostics, he is supposed to follow various steps and number of days, cost, blood sample, many things are involved in that. So with the help of a technology, he made the simplicity. Here, he reduced the time, he reduced the cost, he reduced uh, this number of blood samples required. So that was a startup company. I think uh, now uh, uh, they are really uh, uh, maybe multi crore uh, 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 turnover company and turn today. You get me back. So now, <coughs> only if you have uh, uh, a vision as well as interest to start a company, now we have a lot of opportunities. I think Sri Ram said some of the schemes. Here, if you approach anybody in under the scheme called student, you will get a lot of money. Then second one, now many Indians are ready for funding startups. Funding startup. Because now no share market, if you invest, chapter closed. People are not doing for share market nowadays. Suppose if you say, sir, I want to start, this is my idea, I want to start a company, you will get a lot of funding, especially from bank, funders, many, many resources are available today. Then uh, where is the gap? You all know how to uh, maybe making a technology, but we do not know what are the process of filing a patent. First of all, what is called invention? Which is called invention? What is the difference between a project and an invention? How to distinguish? Clear? What are the process of filing a patent? And uh, what are what is the present scenario? All the steps we would like to cover as a part of this. Uh, IPR course, Intellectual Property Rights course. Clear? So, to this uh, really I am going to end, I think uh, uh, you understood uh, what, what is. An element of demotivation here. Because we have struggles and losses more than pain. <coughs> Honestly speaking. But once we reach again, for example, here we have companies who have an annual turnover of more than 5 crore. <coughs> also, in our incubators here and even in IIM, we have people who change their idea at least twice. Even in my case, I'll tell you, one of my idea, I had to stop midway, realizing that I had two problems which cannot be solved with my capacity. First problem was, if I want to grow my software side, I need to have people who won't work for less than 50k. Because I am an electronics engineer, not a software engineer. And second thing was, even especially in comes to software in uh, electronics in India, some of the components what I want to procure doesn't come anywhere nearby India. Forget about India, anywhere nearby. My nearest vendor was one of the vendors in Singapore, who takes it from either US or China. So once that company says that we are not giving you, we are done. So likewise, as we you know jump into the sea, we have our problems. <coughs> But if our passion is still there, how much of a delay it will be? Okay. And I don't want to take too much of your time. Probably if you are, have time, I don't know sir how much you have. We will make it an interactive session rather than me talking so much of things. Only thing what I can tell you is, if every one of you is an NIT student, okay. if you have at least one small idea, what you think could either bring you money or if it can revolutionize the world or the society, it need not be always a commercial one. Sometimes there are startups which run as an NGO. You don't make profit, but you don't have laws either. Because you have an idea which is socially relevant. We call it socially relevant companies. There are, we cannot say that there are only companies who are multi-billionaires. 
even i don't know whether you know about child help india there are so many companies they are run as a company they are a startup but their intention is not about profit just that run the show without us that is also possible so since you are in nit we have a good reasonably good team here okay reasonably good means the team is very good but if you look at very international level facilities you may not get it i completely agree but and you have plenty of amazing faculties and research scholars in nit kerala along with this if you have any idea let it be socially relevant commercially relevant it really doesn't matter you are at the best part of your life where you could incubate it and see whether the egg hatches because once you are a student you don't have any other responsibility whether you do your project or not you are not expected to make money right this four years or two years of pg four years you are not expected to make money it's fine right and luckily you are in nit where most of your projects get funded as far as i know the nit system a student has a good project either through your ist ieee clubs associations nit do fund and second funniest thing when our shoes and the best thing in your shoes majority of the funds from governments like government of kerala or government of india are given for the students not for people like us like if you have the student tag you are on higher chances of getting even funding starting from the startup kerala msme hackathons reverse hackathons okay in any incubation schemes you want you look at it students do have an account because that is what the whole trend in motivation from the government is on i don't know how many of you are familiar with such schemes either for example even kerala startup mission which is a nodal agency in our state they conduct something called as idea day have you heard of this word idea day just go there when they conduct it you have an idea they the expert committee thinks that it's good enough they will give you money which is non refundable you don't have to pay anything back you just have to hatch your egg and show that the chicken has come out that's it likewise there are plenty of funds like you can look and almost nowadays every tech competition and author competition has a track which is for startups personally speaking it's a buzzword but if you have an idea probably it's easy to hatch 